All right now, 5.30 in this next story, we are asking, is it public art or something dangerous? Well, the answer may depend on who you ask. And the controversy is centered around a park in South End. Queen City News reporter Maureen Wirtz has been on the battle between one architect and county officials over a beloved sculpture. Skyscrapers, cranes, and construction. That's what South End is known for. We come out here several times a day. So when there's a little extra green space, it's a nice change, especially when it comes with an animal you don't often see at a park. I think they add a nice touch to the area. Makes it a little bit more homey. Two life-size giraffes are in the corner of this park off of Kingston Avenue, created by artist Ben Parrish and commissioned by architect David Furman, who designed the park and the buildings nearby. I think they're fabulous, and I think the subtleties of the design and the impact of those units are, are just really a, 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 a reflection on Ben's talent. So these giraffes were originally on East Boulevard on a property that David owns. He says he brought them out here because he thought everyone would love them, but there's just one problem. At first they were dangerous, and so we were working on trying to eliminate the imminent danger uh, of the giraffes. So he didn't have permission to put the giraffes here when he built the park. But this was one of those do first, apologize later situations. I, I know they can't just let anybody put things in the park. I understand that. I, I get it. I get the big concept. I, I, I knew they were so popular on East Boulevard. I knew there would be a big hit there that, that maybe I could circumvent that process. He says they were trying to find a creative way to fence in the giraffes when he was told by county officials they had to go in June. What, that they'll change their mind? No, I'm not hopeful they'll change their mind. I, that's just not the way bureaucracies operate. David has a long history of installing public art, and this is something he wanted to share with everyone. Don't want to step out of the box and try and try something new. You end up with a boring park. Maybe not a boring park, but definitely one that's less exotic. Maureen Wirtz, Queen City News.